A young bald eagle is resting in the suburbs after it was rescued at Waukegan Harbor yesterday. Sean Lewis live in Glen Ellen with more on this. Sean. Yeah, we just saw this uh, eagle up close and personal here at the Willowbrook Wildlife uh, Rescue Center. Uh, still very young, uh, just a few years old. So those white feathers that we typically associate with bald eagles, not quite all in yet. Still too young also to know the sex of this of this bird. What vets here can tell us is that this eagle is now eating much more alert than when it was brought in here yesterday afternoon. Now let's take a look at some video from yesterday uh, during this water rescue. The bird Bird watcher spotted this young eagle on the ice flow at Waukegan Harbor. It was not moving much. It was just sitting there on that ice. So the bird watcher called the Chicago Bird Collision Monitors. That is a volunteer organization that rescues birds around the area. One of their uh, longtime volunteers, Jim Tabinski, brought his kayak out to Waukegan Harbor, used those skills to push that ice flow carefully toward the shore. And that is where the rest of the team was able to secure the eagle and bring it here to the Wildlife Center. That bird should have not let me get that close to it at all. As soon as they started poking around in the ice, it should have done something, even if it just hopped you know, further away from me. It didn't even do that. It didn't even turn its head. My thought was this bird's really sick and it probably won't be a very hard rescue. We see quite a few cases, especially in raptors that or birds of prey that ingest um, anticoagulant rodenticides, usually by eating a rodent that ate those things and then they become affected um, and so we see those cases and then they just tend not to clot and then they tend to bleed out and so that is definitely a possibility in this case. As you can hear, the medical team still trying to figure out exactly what is causing this bird's illness. Uh, as you did hear, uh, what they're thinking right now is that this uh, eagle may have eaten a rat that had eaten rat poison. That was the anticoagulant. So they're giving this bird a number of uh, different fluid therapies, and they are also using uh, vitamin K. That is used to uh, get the bird's blood back to normal so it can clot. Uh, interestingly, uh, it was the Chicago uh, bird uh, collision monitors that brought in the Wildlife Center's first patient last year on New Year's Day, also a bald eagle that was successfully rehabbed here at the center and set free just a few months later. Uh, it's going to be here for the next couple of months at least uh, getting the rehab that it needs. Uh, so it was so interesting though to see this bald eagle up close and personal closest that uh, I had ever been to that big of a bird before. So quite an interesting story. We'll have much more for you coming up at noon. For now we are live in Glen Ellen. Sean Lewis WGN News. Very good. Thank you Sean. They can be intimidating. Place it